Hi everyone, in this video we're continuing with key area 2.6, structure and function of the heart, by looking at the events of the cardiac cycle. So two bits of terminology you're going to hear constantly throughout this video is diastole, which refers to relaxation, and systole, which refers to contraction. So the three major events of the cardiac cycle that we'll discuss is cardiac diastole, where the whole heart is relaxed, atrial systole, where the atria are contracting, and ventricular systole, where the ventricles are contracting. So we'll start with cardiac diastole, the blood returning to both the left and right atria from the body tissues and from the lungs, starting to fill the atria and the blood passing then down through to the ventricles. So the atria will then enter into atrial systole. The walls of the atria contract to transfer the rest of that blood through those AV valves and into the left and right ventricle. Next is ventricular systole. So when the ventricles are full of blood, the AV valves will close to prevent that backflow. The ventricle walls contract and the blood is pushed out of the left and right ventricle into the pulmonary artery and the aorta. And that's through those semi-lunar valves, the aortic valve and the pulmonary valve. Now the blood is in the vessels. That means the pressure in the ventricles will drop, the semilunar valves will close, and the blood will travel to the lungs and travel to the rest of the body, allowing the heart to go back into cardiac diastole, the atria to start refilling with blood, and we repeat this cycle over and over again. So the valves will open and close purely down to the effect of those pressure changes. So when the atria are full, the pressure will be high there, and that will force open the AV valves. Then when the blood moves from the ventricles into the vessels, the semilunar valves will open when the pressure is higher in the ventricles to move into the arteries. And it's that opening and closing of the AV and SL valves that's responsible for generating the heart sounds that you can listen to with a stethoscope, that classic lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. So time for our past paper question. Pause the video and select your response. So here we have the diagram which shows a cross section of the heart and we have the four valves labelled. RNS and P and Q. So which statement describes the movement of the valves specifically during ventricular systole? So which pair needs to be open? Which pair needs to be closed? So RNS are between the chambers, so they must be the AV valves, which leaves P and Q as the semi winner between the ventricles and the vessels. So if the ventricles are contracting, they're pushing the blood up into the arteries. So you need the AV valves closed and the semilunar valves open. So P and Q open and RNS closed. So hopefully this has helped talk through the major events of the cardiac cycle. But as always, any questions, just let me know.